Hi guys, welcome back to the DevOps tutorials. In today's session, we'll see how can we merge continuous inspection with continuous integration. That is, we'll be triggering a sonar cube analysis on a project after we successfully build the same project from a Jenkins continuous integration server. Let's get started. So this screen simply explains the entire flow that we would be following. So the first thing that uh, we do is a developer will push the code changes onto a repository like git and from the repository the code changes will be pulled or fetched by a continuous integration server like Jenkins and uh, then we will be using a build tool like Maven for building the project and after we successfully build the project we will be triggering a sonar cube analysis on the same project so let's go ahead with that so we'll go to the Jenkins dashboard which is available at localhost colon 8080 so we'll refresh this page and before we get started creating a new project for this demo we need to install some plugins that will be required for triggering a sonar cube analysis so we'll click on manage Jenkins Then we'll click on manage plugins. In the available tabs, we'll try to search for sonar using the filter. And as you can see that the sonar cube plugin is available to be installed. So we'll click on this checkbox. This is the only plugin that we'll be requiring. So we'll click on install without restart. Now let's wait till the installation gets completed and we'll check on this option over here that will restart Jenkins when the installation gets completed. So let's wait now. So the plugin was installed and now Jenkins is restarting. Now it's getting ready. So let's go and create our first project. First sonar project. So we'll click on new item. Over here, I'll specify my project name as Sonar Project and I'll select the project type to be Maven and I'll click on OK. Over here, you can give a small description about this project. So I'll type in this is a demo project for triggering Sonar. analysis from Jenkins and I'll check on the github project over here I need to specify my repository URL so I'll go into my github account so this is my repo that I'll be analyzing so click over here and copy the URL now go back to Jenkins and paste the URL over here. Then we'll go down and in the source code management I'll select git and again I'll be pasting the same URL over here. Then I'll go down again. There are some uh, trigger options available over here which can be selected as per your need. We won't be requiring it for this demo so we'll skip that and we'll go down 
and in the build environment I'll check on prepare sonar cube scanner environment then in the build section I'll specify the goals that I'll be requiring so the maven goals are clean and package and the com.xml will be available in the root directory of my project so these are the two things and now I'll go down and I'll specify my post build actions so after my build has been successfully completed or after my build has been completed irrespective of whether it was successful or not what do I want to do next so I'll be triggering a sonar cube analysis with maven and I'll save this configuration by clicking on save now as you can see a sonar cube list item has been made available to us we'll look into it uh, as to how to use this so now we'll go ahead and we'll build this project by clicking on build now and in the build history you can see that the build has been triggered this is the first build for this project and over here you can see that the gray ball is blinking so clicking on it we can go into the console output of this build of this project so click on that gray ball and over here you can see the entire console output so now it is executing the maven goals and now it is executing the test cases and now it will trigger the sonar cube analysis so let's wait for it to get completed so as you can see that the build has been successfully completed and the sonar cube analysis has also been completed successfully now we'll go back to the project dashboard and from here we'll click on this sonar cube option that was available to us which will take us to the sonar dashboard for the analysis so click on the sonar cube link and as you can see this is the dashboard for the project that we just analyzed you can go ahead analyzing each and every aspect of this build you can go into the issues you can look at the metrics and the statistics and uh, take some actions so that was it for today guys in today's section uh, we saw how to trigger a sonar cube analysis from within Jenkins merging continuous inspection with continuous integration so that's it for today guys thank you thank you for watching see you in the next session